Okay, second finance question. We got five minutes left, but we're gonna see if Corey can get it in. Should you get solar panels? I know this one sounds real random compared to the first one, but should you? Should you get solar panels? From a technology standpoint, obviously, I don't know, because I don't know that stuff. <laughs> obviously, assume that anything you buy works. Should you get solar panels? You can get solar panels. The one issue with solar panels is, and this does relate, because we were talking about that amortization schedules. Right. Usually, not usually, but when people get solar panels, they usually, like I said, not usually, they lump, <laughs> they lump it into their mortgage. So essentially, let's say solar panels are twenty thousand mm-hmm. dollars, and the house is two two eighty. They'll get a three hundred thousand dollar mortgage. No, do not take out debt to get the solar panels. I don't care how much the delta is, as far as you know, you saving on your electricity bill or whatever. I don't know all the tech, but whatever else they can save on. And then if you do take out the debt, definitely don't take out the debt and put it inside your mortgage, because now because that makes your mor- that makes your mortgage payment higher. And then here's the issue with this too: solar panels are sort of like um. They're like uh, pools, all right? Now, decks can be viewed the same way, but most people usually get a deck. But when it comes to pools, the issue with getting the pool is you don't wanna overbuild where you live at. So you don't wanna be the only person with a pool because then, you know, all, all of those houses, right, are generally the same same price, okay? And you wanna essentially, you know, have the same house as everyone else, right? And obviously a deck is nothing. Most people want a deck anyways, mm-hmm. right? But something like a pool, you don't want to be the only person with a pool in the neighborhood because then it's like nobody in this neighborhood has a pool. Therefore, people looking in this neighborhood don't want pools. That's right. sort of the same issue when it comes to solar panels in the sense of the appreciation, you know, for the pool, right? right. You're likely not going to get it back out. You're taking out debt for it. Same thing usually happens with solar panels. Again, y'all be getting a 30 year mortgage and you don't, you don't pay it off. So now you got to sell the home. So you got to recoup that asset again to find how you want to handle that, handle it that way. If you were buying this house and you don't quote unquote see your kids taking their graduation photos and that means you're going to be selling that property. So you need to truly manage it as an asset and make sure you get as much money out of it as possible. Just like with solar panels and pools, you can end up, let's say spending Forty thousand dollars in this case on a three hundred thousand dollar home, right? So you got a three hundred forty thousand dollar mortgage, but you, the solar the house only appreciates at three twenty, right? So now you out that twenty k delta. Right. That's what usually ends up happening with solar panels. Now, obviously, if you're paying cash for, let's say if you're paying cash for stuff, you invest in you. I mean, it's your life. You do what you want to do. But you start taking out debt for it and or lumping it into your mortgage. No, like I said, I would not lump anything into your mortgage. Obviously, except you know taxes, but you know because that's what most people do, pity. Right. But um, out, outside of taxes, I would not lump anything into your mortgage. I would not take out a second mortgage, reverse mortgage, home equity, or a HELOC. I mean, my goodness, do not put all these different liens up against your house or all this different debt attached to your house because that's such a it's such a it's usually people's largest tangible asset, right? You might have more money in your 401k, but it is such a big asset and it's. Not that it's hard to manage, but you have to be very delicate with the home and don't get caught up in the current buying market, <laughs> okay? So when you get solar panels, if you're gonna get them, that's fine, get them off to do your research, make sure you know you know what they actually benefit, but. And then you have to ask yourself, uh, what is the return on investment on solar right. panels too, right? Like, is it is it worth it? How much money are you really gonna save in energy for $40,000 with the solar panels? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I mean. And then like, how, how many people, like, I don't know nothing about no solar panels. So guess what, <laughs> guess what? I do not care if they own the house or not. And guess what I'm not about to do? I'm not about to pay for them. Right. I, 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 take them off. <laughs> it's like uh, tinted windows. I don't I don't want I don't want tinted windows. So that's what you have to be careful with, with solar panels. Like I said, obviously you have to understand the tech first, right? And make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. But I don't recommend taking out debt for it. But if you do, please do not lump it into your mortgage. You would technically have it, you know, something separate. But again, you talk about solar panels being like 20K plus. What, now we're talking about different type of loans we can get, which I'm not gonna get into, but you can't just, usually you can't just get a twenty thousand dollars because not a car loan, right? I so we gotta get a mortgage, right? I don't recommend putting twenty thousand dollars on your credit card if you're doing that, right? Because mm-hmm. all the interest. So then now we're talking about a personal or personal loan or signature loan, and that's why you're like, yeah, Corey, that's why I gotta put it into my mortgage. I know. This is what I'm telling you not to take the debt out on. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I I know I know. How are you supposed to get a twenty k loan and it's not a car loan or a mortgage? I I know. <laughs> I'm just saying, even if I can cash flow it though, is it going to generate me twenty thousand dollars? First of all, this is not my forever home. I got to figure out if I'm about to get twenty thousand dollars with the power back. Like, I mean, that's how I. But well, that's the thing. Like, you usually, don't most people end up staying in the 
house long enough to, to reap to the beneficial. delta. So that, right. that's what I'm saying too. Again, you're probably not going to stay in the home long enough anyway, especially got the 30 year. I mean, it just is what it is. Like again, talk about you know execution versus what y'all think is about to happen. You're probably not going to stay in the home for 30 years. And you're not even 30 years old, so you don't even know because you ain't done 30 years yet. <laughs> So, yep, that's it for that. Should you get solar panels locked and loaded? Let's right, get into this up. recap.